Like this shit is hard and no one told me. Not now one of them Instagram posts said, once you get a ring, shit gets real. Because that's exactly what happened. Hi guys and welcome back. Um, today I wanna talk to you about reality. Reality, that's not what I wanna talk to you about. I wanna talk to you about the perception, like society's perception of being engaged versus the reality of being engaged. So if that interests you, stay tuned. So, um, my fiance and I have been engaged for a little over a month and it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, I think that going into it, I'm sorry, I'm like drawing a blank, but like going into it, I, I thought it would just be like, oh, we get to plan a wedding and like, it was just like easy. I thought it would be easy to be engaged. and. I knew marriage is like hard, but like I didn't, I didn't really fully understand it until I was on the road to it. Um, I think society, I think society, one, I think society puts pressure on women to want to be a wife and want to be married and want to have a family and be a mother and all that, which I think is unfair because originally that wasn't my plan. Like I didn't. I didn't, I didn't see myself as a wife, you know? Not to say I didn't want to be one, but that wasn't anything that was like in the forefront of my mind. And granted, I have friends who like, I know that they like they want to be housewives and they want to just be stay at home moms and be able to take care of their family, which I think there's nothing wrong with that, but that just was never my goal. Um, so the fact that this is coming more like that this is now my life has been something that you know i've had to deal with and like has been kind of like a mental fuck in my head <laughs> but that's a whole nother that's a whole nother video but yeah so um i think society puts these pressure that puts the pressure on women to want to be in a relationship and be married and be engaged and all that other great stuff and i think that it doesn't there's it doesn't one it doesn't put that same pressure on men and two it doesn't it's not all just planning a wedding and it's not all fun and 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 bubbles and butterflies and all that like it's hard work and i didn't know that until we actually got engaged and granted like once we got engaged we had to move across country and so that was another stress on top of just like realizing that you can't just think about yourself now you're thinking about somebody else and it's it, like it was a whole we went through a lot of transitions at once and so i'm just on here to just tell you that being engaged is hard and maybe that's just my experience of it but our first couple of weeks was really really hard and it wasn't planning a wedding and it wasn't you know picking out you know cake testing and all that other stuff it wasn't just about getting my ring like that is so just superficial and I feel like society has this superficial image on what it is to be married and to be engaged and it's all about getting a ring and it's all about becoming a fiance when that's not is what it's about it's about committing your ooh, ooh. I was about to get heavy. I was gonna say committing your life to somebody else, but that's what it is. Like, it's just a lot more than what I think is portrayed. And so, you know, we're in the thick of it, and I just, it, I just had a breakdown where I realized like this shit is hard, and no one told me. Not now, one of them Instagram posts said once you get a ring, shit gets real because that's exactly what happened. Like, I literally got engaged, went to Germany came back, moved across country. Like that was the order and it happened in like 10 days. Literally within 10 days, I was in Germany, came back and had to go to Oakland from Miami, like from here to here. That's what we had to do. And like, it was just such a, it was such a shock. And it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. And we're just now like figuring out our, our, um, our routine, our rhythm, our pattern. But I just wanted to get on here and just tell you that it's so much more than getting a ring. It's so much more than, you know, changing your title from girlfriend or boyfriend to fiance. Because trust and believe, 
I would love to be his girlfriend again. Life was so much easier as a girlfriend. And don't, don't try to rush the next stage of your relationship just because you want a different title. Enjoy the stage that you're at because you're, you can't, I mean, I'm not gonna say you can't go backwards because I mean, marriages, marriages fail every day, B. Like, marriages, marriages don't last. I mean, some don't, you know? So I don't wanna say don't, you can't go back, but just enjoy where you're at. If you're single, enjoy being single. Get everything out, like do, enjoy being single. If you're in a relationship, if you're if you're a girlfriend or boyfriend, enjoy that stage. If you're a fiance, enjoy that stage. If you're married, enjoy that stage because then you could be grandparents and you'll be mothers and fathers and like each stage in your life that you're in, just enjoy it and don't rush to the next one because you think that's where you should be. Don't do that because you're going to miss out on where you're actually at. You're gonna miss out the now and the here. And so I just wanted to get on here and just tell you guys that because I think there's a lot of pressure, at least on women, to want to be wives, mothers, and all that other great stuff, which is fine, but don't, don't let the pressures of society make you wanna rush where you're at. Enjoy where you are because where you are is beautiful and it's it's gonna work out just fine trust me i feel like this video like took a turn i don't even know what i'm gonna call it but like it's just about societies societies it's about society versus the real life of being engaged and what it is to be engaged. I don't know, I'll think of a title, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's something that I wanted to do for a while, but for whatever reason, I just felt like I would be judged or I wouldn't be able to articulate what I wanted to say correctly. I think I did a pretty good job. I think I got everything I wanted out in, an, in a way that I wanted it to be said, and now I'm talking to myself. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Um, let me know if you like this kind of stuff. Like, it was kind of a little hard for me to talk about it because I really do feel like society wants engagement to be like, oh my god, yay! But, like, that wasn't the case. Like, I'm like, what the hell did we get ourselves into? <laughs> but, yeah. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye, guys. And I'm on a beanbag, y'all. We got a beanbag, and your girl is hype. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.